turn their life experiences and love for dance into an opportunity to inspire and spread inclusivity. Check out their story. A dancer with a dream to make dance accessible to all, no matter race, body type, or physical capabilities, turned her personal trauma into triumph. In 2006, Marissa Hamamoto was an everyday college student when she suffered from a spinal stroke that left her paralyzed from the neck down. She was given the devastating news no one wants to hear. She may never walk again. I thought my life was over in that moment because not being able to walk meant not being able to dance. And to me, dancing was the one thing I fought for. But miraculously, just two months later, Marissa regained mobility and walked out of the hospital. Because of her difficult experience, Marissa knew she had a new mission in life to use dance as a catalyst to inspire inclusion and belonging. So she founded Infinite Flow, a professional inclusive dance company that's comprised of disabled and non-disabled dancers of all ages. While researching wheelchair ballroom dance, she discovered a man named Peter. Despite being born with spina bifida and without the ability to walk, Peter is one of the most accomplished wheelchair dancers in the world. Blown away by his talent, Marissa knew she had to partner up with him and the two quickly became soulmates. Marissa's inspirational dance troupe proves every day that dance knows no disability. For us, please welcome Marissa Hamamoto and Peter Ivanitsky. Infinite flow, what a great idea. And you wanted you did this because you wanted inclusion, all right? But what are some of the ways you think this helped disabled dancers be included? To be really honest with you, as a result of developing this group that's really diverse, I'm actually the one that feels more included. Oh, wow. <laughs> You know, at Infinite Flow, we're not just removing the stigma of disability, we're really demonstrating the infinite possibilities. And for sure, my partnership with Peter has definitely been about that. Oh. <laughs> and Peter, you are a, a world champion and wheelchair dancer. So what was important to you about joining Infinite Flow? How did it come to find you? So for me, the most important thing was that Infinite Flow is not only about dance. It's about uh, making the world uh, a better place for everyone. And that's how Infinite Flow became my second family. Oh my gosh. You're incredible. Yeah. Now, you guys get tons of invitations to come to school assemblies, and you're raising money to do more of those, right? Tell us about that. Yes. So according to the National Bowling Prevention Center, 
kids with disabilities are two to three times more likely to be bullied than their non-disabled peers. Mm. And according to StopBullying.gov, social isolation is especially prevalent among kids who are perceived different. Um, a couple years ago, a elementary school in Culver City asked us to come out and perform. We got raving reviews, and ever since then, over 30 schools have approached us for school assemblies, oh. but only three schools have had a school assembly budget, and this right. just didn't seem right. Imagine a world where diversity, inclusion, accessibility, and equal opportunity don't have to be discussed because mm -hmm. it's a given. When you, when you expose inc inclusion to young children, it stays with them the entire life. Yeah, give it up for that. We... We, we love your story, but we weren't the only ones who were in love with your story. Mm -hmm. So dancewear company, Capizio, they want to outfit all your dancers with clothing and shoes for the year. All right? Wow. Wow. But Capizio was not done yet. They wanted to also give you $10,000 towards your school assembly. So you can go to more schools and help out more kids. Oh, yes. So a big, big thank you to Capizio for that. We really appreciate it. Marissa and Peter, thank you both. Thank you so much. You guys have made it. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. And up next, we've got powerhouse entertainer Tyrese Gibson takes on the most challenging role yet as our guest. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>